Today we're going to do a smoky eye tutorial for mature eyes and I'm going to show you how to give yourself an instant eye lift. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. I'm really excited today to share with you how to do a smoky eye on mature eyes. And it can be really difficult because we can get it so wrong with mature eyes. Because if you've got loose skin and crepey skin or you know wrinkly skin, what can happen with a smoky eye is that your eyelid and all of this part of your eye can drop. There's a different way for us, a special way because we're special people and I'm really excited to show you. Okay, let's get started. I'll just quickly demonstrate now a winged eyeliner, how the young women do it and I'll show you why it doesn't work on a mature eye. We're going to bring the winged eyeliner out and then they sort of bring it in like this. Okay, so it's a beautiful wing, but when you've got mature eyes, it hangs down and it gets caught up in your loose skin, in these wrinkles, and it brings our eye down. So, <laughs> unfortunately, these looks don't look amazing on a lot of women with mature eyes because of this problem. And you'll also notice how this line here is just getting lost in this fold of skin. It's like, where is it? <laughs> It's playing hide and seek, okay? Yet if my eye was up like this, it would be superb. But don't worry about that. We don't need to go out. I'm going to show you how to go up. It's so much better. We're going to apply an eyeshadow primer first because when you're doing a smoky eye in particular, you want all of your eyeshadow to stay in place. So just tap it in lightly. And this is going to hold your eyeshadow in place stop the creasing and make your color more intense. And today for our smoky eye, we're using a Morphe eyeshadow palette and you can either use the black or the brown depending on your eye color. I'll leave the colors that I'm using down in the description as well as the brushes that I'm using so you can check to see what I'm using, but use whatever you've got at home to practice this. Okay, we're going in first with a light eyeshadow over the whole lid. And this is just going to get rid of the discoloration in your eyes and go all the way up and just tap it in and blend it in because you don't want any creasing. And if you've got a lot of crepey skin on your eyes, if you don't tap it in and sort of rub it around, it will end up creasing. And when you open your eyes, you'll have all those little lines that we love to see. So tap, 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 tap. Just get it in. Okay, you can't really mess up that part. <laughs> that was easy. The next part takes more technique and I'm gonna teach you. So you're gonna know how to do it and it's kinda of like following a set of rules. Once you know the rules and apply it to your eyes, you'll know how to do this. We're going to take a brush with a fine point on it and that's going to be our eyeliner brush. And we're going to follow the same principles we did in the eyeliner for mature eyes video, which is a daytime look. We're going to take that principle and we're going to make it into a nighttime smoky eye. It's going to be great. Okay, so take a dark color and take, go to the last lash and draw a line upwards. That's all you need for a daytime look, but we're going for night. So we're going to take that line up higher. Okay, you can experiment with your eye because the lid is different for every single person. And when I go up here, you can see it's getting caught in the crease. So that part there is going down. If my eye was taut, it'd be that high. Okay, so practice on yourself, but we're going to get the technique and then you'll know what to do. So we'll do the same thing, straight line at the last lash, and then we're going to bring into a triangle. And we can make a big triangle because we're going out and we're going to have fun and we want to put more makeup on than a daytime look. Fill that triangle in.
don't worry about making a mistake or making a mess of it because you can blend it in and we're just getting the technique right. Once you get that, you can just do lots of practice. But here's the thing with a smoky eye. We don't need to cover our whole eye in eyeshadow. The purpose of a smoky eye is to take your daytime look into something more dramatic for the nighttime and it looks much more elegant on a mature woman if it's done in a more subtle way. So it's intense and darkened but it's not over the top. Now we're going to mark out two points on the eye. The first point is above the pupil and on the bone which is there and the second one is a 45 degree angle from this line. Okay I'm going to explain that. Imagine drawing a straight line from the very corner of your eye. It's a 90 degrees angle to the line you have created at the lash line. Then you begin your new line around halfway between these two lines, creating a 45 degree angle. This is just a guideline and it doesn't need to be precise and you can tweak it to suit your own eye. So for a nighttime look and more intensity to the triangle, we're going to take it out slightly 45 degrees like I've done there and then we're going to join them up. We're going to take this line and this line and join them. Okay now if you're like me your skin will be more like paper bark than it is like paper. <laughs> So there's lots of texture and that's why you put your finger here because you smooth your eye out so that you don't have so many lumps and bumps along the way. And you're going to have this shape and you're going to have your triangle shape. So you've got two shapes on your eye and then you fill it all in. You take another brush Hold your eye and then pull all that in. And because you've had your triangle and your angle, you know exactly what to do. There's no guesswork. And then we're going to shade inwards. Never shade outwards. Out here, we're going to shade inwards and really soften that up. Now you can take a lighter color in your palette, it's up to you which color you choose, and then blend it in. So we're going to have a gradient. And make sure that your colors are really well blended and soft. And then you take this in, but you don't carry all the shadow in, you just blend it out. And then take your light color and take it out just over the edges and blend it all in. So you don't want sharp edges. You're going to soften those edges with a lighter color. And if you want more intensity, go as dark as you like. But for me, I just like to soften this up and take it all in towards the inner part of my eye. Okay, and then we're going to go underneath the eye and we're going to line that very softly and join the lines. So take your finger here and continue this line down and then open your eye and then come down underneath. And just follow underneath your eye, but only a little bit of shadow. We don't need too much here. Again, if you've got wrinkles under your eye, you don't want to put too much in because it gets caught in the folds and then hangs down. And then blend that out as well again. And you've got that kind of a look. Then we'll go to the center of the eye and we'll put a shimmer. And if you're going out at night, why not have a bit of shimmer? 
that's just made my eyelid pop a little bit more to make it look bigger and then we'll go ahead and continue on with the eyeliner and bring it into the center of our eye and if you're up for it you can go in with an eyeliner to intensify that a little bit more and do the same thing you've got your straight line at the last lash a triangle and all the way to the end that just gives it a bit more intensity curl the eyelash and pump it a few times and take it into the corner of your nose and what that's going to do is make your eyelashes sit up if you're going out at night to a party or an event or out for dinner three coats of mascara is perfect in between coats to dry take a nude eyeliner this one's from NARS and just put it in the waterline and then we'll go in with some more mascara you can go in on the bottom just the bottom few on the outer edges because if you wear mascara on the bottom lashes and you do have lines under your eyes it can accentuate them plus it can also rub against your skin and the oil in your skin mixes with the mascara formula and dissolves it so that looks like panda eyes I'm going to go in now and do the other side I'll be back in a moment both eyes done and I'm ready to go I'm going to map out this look on a diagram and when I've done that I'll leave it on Instagram so that you can see it um, and that will give you a good reference point for when you're practicing at home. I would love to hear if you've tried it and it worked and I really hope it does and go out and enjoy the party season and enjoy going out and having fun and experimenting and just creating some new things for yourself. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to fabulous 50s I would love to have you here and to all of my beautiful subscribers thank you so much for being here I really appreciate you thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day I can